Hey guys, it's Amy. So today I'm gonna do a highly requested video actually. It is a video that I have been asked several, several times to do, which is to share my skincare routine and also uh, the products that I use on my face. So I've decided to do a modified version of Get Ready With Me and talk you through all the products that I use while getting ready in the morning. If you guys have been following me for a while and watch my favorites videos and also my introductory videos, you would know that I am a health freak almost. Well, not really. I, I'm just a health nut in general. I just like to, I don't know, just be as healthy as possible in terms of eating and even the products that I consume and the products that I put on my skin and my hair and my teeth. I try to use as natural and as organic as possible and I try to eliminate as much as possible all the harmful chemicals. Basically what I'm saying is that I try to use green products as much as possible. It is definitely really hard to be 100% green. Uh, it's possible but it's hard. Um, and sometimes a lot of the products that still have a little bit of harmful chemicals are still very effective. So it's Sometimes it's also hard to make the transition because of that. But nevertheless, I'm sharing with you guys what I'm currently using and uh, I'll definitely mention when I think that they are very nice and green products that I highly recommend and also other products that I still use but I haven't really found an alternative that works well. And so if you guys are interested in seeing how I get ready from this to this, then keep on watching. As you can see, my skin is actually not too bad. It doesn't have too many fine lines or wrinkles and um, other than the hyperpigmentations on the cheeks here and some around the lip area, there's really no bumps or anything like that. I mean, it does happen that I get a pimple here and there, but it's usually pretty rare because I do keep a healthy diet and I try my best to stay healthy and I try to use the most natural and organic products as possible inside and out and so I'm actually pretty happy with my skin other than the fact that it doesn't have a lot of you know color uh, I do look pretty pale because I am anemic so I definitely do appreciate what a little bit of makeup can do to enhance already your features that you have uh, so in my case um, I like to just add a little bit of blush enhance my eyes by adding the mascaras and just overall sculpting the face a little bit more after applying foundation uh, having said that I don't normally apply a lot of makeup I don't know if you guys have noticed but in my older videos especially during my first year here on YouTube I hardly apply any makeup actually and so you'll notice that um, I definitely look a little bit more tired and uh, less polished than my videos nowadays. Even on regular day basis nowadays, uh, other than in front of the camera when I film for you guys, I don't really wear any makeup. So I do let my skin breathe a lot and that is also the reason why I think my skin stays healthy and unclogged and you know bump free and all that stuff other than the fact that I try to be really careful with my diet and lifestyle. In general, I don't really get a lot of problems with my skin. Even in my teenage years, I didn't really suffer any acne problems or whatnot. But I still believe that it is important to maintain it and also just to lead a healthier lifestyle in general. Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I guess get ready with you guys. So uh, I had already washed my face with the Aloe Vera Moisture Cleanser from Davida. I always talk about Davida in the past. In fact, I had an old video where I kind of talked about all the products that I use and a lot of them is still the same except that um, I didn't really apply makeup before so I'm definitely gonna introduce those in this video so I really love Davida they're one of the cleanest brands that I know and that I've used for several years now so I've already cleansed my face with that and then right after that I will apply or spray actually the uh, Moroccan rose toner. I really, really love this rose toner. It is completely natural. If anything, of all the products that I use from Davida, this one is my very favorite, simply because I feel like the other ones, if I didn't have it on hand, I can probably substitute it once in a while and get away with it. But with this rose um, facial toner, which is basically a rose water, 
uh, but the main ingredient is aloe vera juice though um, it really does hydrate your skin and there's a difference between hydrating and moisturizing in my opinion I think when you hydrate your skin it has enough water content it can really perform its job at um, you know staying healthy by the way I forgot to mention that I actually have combination dry skin so I normally have pretty dry skin even my hands and everything um, I have to constantly apply lotion even after showering so the only parts of my skin on my face that gets oily throughout the day is this t-zone but it's not that bad actually it's just that I, I do have combination skin basically and it's still on the drier side now uh, after that step the toner I will apply some eye cream I love this eye cream I think this is the only eye cream that Davida makes uh, unless they have other ones that are not sold here but uh, I've been using this for a long time as well I wouldn't say that this is um, super useful at maybe eliminating wrinkles and whatnot however I wouldn't know exactly if it would you know perform that way because I don't have a lot of fine lines so um, I don't know maybe it is working uh, having said that I have used it for several years now and that's the one that I always go back to because in between I would try other things and I still like this one more and the reason why I really prefer the Vita over any other brand is not just because they're super natural um, there's literally zero chemical that I can recognize and also they're organic and there's no fragrance other than the um, the scent of the material used in it so after that I will apply the moisturizer I use the perfecting time moisturizer this is perfect for me because I have combination dry skin and I find that a little bit goes a long way in terms of moisturizing right after you tone I think once I tone with that rose water my skin is so hydrated that it doesn't actually need the, all that much moisturization so this works perfectly fine for me there's also a richer version of the moisturizer which I also have but I tend to gravitate towards this one I find that this one keeps my skin not too oily throughout the day and it's a great base for makeup or just uh, on its own by itself by the way I will link all the products down below and so if you guys are interested you guys can check it out I do also have their SPF which I don't apply on a daily basis but I do like it it doesn't leave a white streak or anything and it is uh, pretty creamy and um, I would say it's pretty effective as well all of the skincare is out of the way I'm gonna go ahead and apply some lip balm I just used the Burt Bees pomegranate one and this lives in every handbag that I use in my makeup bag around the house I really love this one this is my favorite one of all the Burt Bees ones now onto the makeup portion uh, the first product I will use is the Sappho New Paradigm Foundation so this is actually a local company that is uh, the product is made in Vancouver and I found out about this one maybe a year ago and uh, I just really love the like the natural ingredients in it and also the fact that this doesn't break my break out my skin because it's not that I've never worn makeup in the past MAC or Clinique or Estee Lauder and whatever brands basically that you guys are all familiar with uh, they always broke me out and of course they broke me out over time like it's not a one day thing but it's pretty severe breakouts they are not uh, the inflammation type but they are like the bump bumpy type like the white dot bumpy type so it's definitely an indication of clogged pores which I guess my skin is pretty sensitive in a way hence the reason why I didn't really wear makeup in my you know first videos on YouTube basically for the first year and a half I think or yeah year and a half and then when I found out about this company through my local um, health store that I go to I just um, tried it and I was it was also highly recommended by the staff there and I have to agree that this is probably the only makeup that I feel comfortable wearing every single day but just squirt a small amount it's not even that much um, this squirt is pretty good too and I'll just dot it on my face and blend it out so what I also really like about this makeup is that it's so lightweight and you really don't need that much because 
like I said, I even though I do apply makeup nowadays because I do film videos and um, it does really help even out the skin tone. Even though this is a foundation, uh, I mean a natural foundation, it's still pretty lightweight and I would say it's more like a medium coverage. You could build it up a little bit more and it definitely feels more like a tinted moisturizer rather than actual foundation. It's not thick at all, which I really like because I don't I don't like feeling like I have a cakey face or just like a really heavy layer of stuff on my skin. Um, so I'll use a brush like this. This is an oval brush by the company Kaylin, which uh, I featured in one of my favorites video. And I really don't have a like a method or anything. I just uh, like I said, I don't really apply a lot of makeup and I'm not really good at it. So I just do the way that I know. So basically what I'm saying is that I'm not a pro and that um, I just do what I know and it, it works out, you know. It does help even out my skin. It makes me look a little bit healthier and just have livelier and more even skin. Not that my skin is that bad, like I said, I really don't mind not wearing makeup either. But it does enhance your own natural beauty already, your natural features. So it definitely helps. You'll notice that I don't really put, it's really a thin layer. It almost doesn't make a much of a difference. Although I think on camera it does because the light reflects on my skin. But in real life, it doesn't look like I have a lot of stuff on. But it does definitely evens out the skin and you do look a little bit more sort of awake and have even skin, younger skin as well. Yeah, I think because the reflection, this makeup doesn't have any shimmers or anything like that, but it does have a lot of essential oils. And I really do love the makeup. This is such an excellent brand. Um, it is created by a makeup artist that helps um, actors do makeup and she created this brand because she was not happy at the fact that basically all the other makeup brands in the market are full of chemicals and just bad ingredients that clog your skin and is not natural to put on the skin on a daily basis so she created her own line and I'm so glad that I discovered it So here you go, this is my skin after just a very thin layer of that foundation which in terms of texture really feels like tinted moisturizer but I think it does a really good job at evening out the skin. Next I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of concealer just under my eyes and anywhere that I have um, hyperpigmentation from scars. I think on the camera you don't really see any but I have a little bit of redness here. I guess that's it. <laughs> so this is just a little plastic container that I got at Sephora and um, I just transferred some of the... Oops, I think I took too much. I really only need a little bit, a tiny little bit. I transferred a little bit of my Tarte Maracuja concealer, the creaseless concealer onto it so that it's easier to travel with. And uh, I, I like dipping my brush in it rather than having to squeeze it out. So you really just need a little bit. This concealer has been working well for me. In fact, on a daily basis when I don't wear makeup, I would still try to wear a little bit of concealer under my eyes because then I do look a little bit more awake. So all I do is just apply... Like I don't have a lot of... Like... I don't have um, major dark circles or anything, but... I just feel that it does also kind of highlight under the eyes and um, it does reflect light so it definitely looks like you're a little bit more awake after you apply a little bit and a little bit goes a long way. Um, so Tarte is not the most natural company out there but they're one of the better ones and I do really like this concealer. I don't know if I've really found any other ones that work well under my eyes because they're usually too dry and I do like that this one has the maracuja oil and I do think that it's still a really good product despite 
the fact that it's not the the most natural product that you can find out there and it hasn't broken me out and plus I really really need a very tiny amount as you can see I didn't really apply that much I basically just go along where the like the line like the the most blue line it's not even blue it's more like a shadow of where the circle the dark circle starts if you can even call it that because I don't have that much but there you go it just definitely does in real life it definitely does reflect light a little bit and helps awaken your face usually by this time I like to curl my lashes because I use a mascara that um, I need to sort of wait a little bit before I apply the uh, the black coat and so I do like to curl my lashes now and then do the rest of my face after I don't know if you guys can see but um, even just by curling my lashes I look a lot more awake already and um, I love that sometimes I don't even wear mascara on a daily basis I don't actually and I just curl my lashes apply a little bit of that concealer under my eyes and a bit of blush and that's all I need <clears throat> sorry for the voice this is just an old eyelash curler that I've had for several years this is just the Koji eyelash curler that I bought in Hong Kong but I like it because it's easier to um, to hold with this pink uh, plastic handle it's just really easy to pinch this is the L'Oreal double extend uh, two-step mascara so it has a primer and the fiber mascara on the other side this is an old tube I'm gonna go and open a new one this is how the packaging looks like this is a brand new one um, and I really like it because I find that of all the mascaras nothing works on my lashes at, they're not super short but they they always you know point down and the moment after I apply mascara they just go back down even after I curl my lashes and I don't like using the waterproof ones also because I know that those do hold, hold curls a little bit better uh, the reason why I really like this one is because this is a fiber mascara and um, my makeup is so natural like the products that I use are so natural that I don't actually need a makeup remover to undo my face I literally just jump in the shower and wash my face with my cleanser that I just showed you and I exfoliate and everything is clean it's literally so good like the makeup that I use is so good and natural and easily cleansed that it it's um I don't need ex an extra step to remove it and the reason why I like this is because this is a fiber mascara and it um you just easily remove it with hot water I just have to wiggle it out uh, after a little bit of hot water so I really like this one because of that reason now having said that this is not the most natural product in the world uh, in fact it does have paraben that's the only product that I still use that has paraben everything else is super clean uh, as clean as you can think of honestly and so only because I haven't been able to find another one that I'm still using this one but I figured I don't know it, it's pretty close to the eye but I figured that um, it hasn't caused any problems yet it's not the best out there but it's the best in terms of performance and ease of removal so I'm gonna use this one because I think my other ones is drying out this mascara is on the runny side at first but after you use it for a while like a couple a few times actually um, it will just be a little bit drier in consistency and it will be easier to apply and stay on your lashes so I will apply the primer first all over my lashes my eyes are primed I mean my lashes are primed and I'm just gonna let it uh, dry while I do the other parts of my face before I move on to the fiber mascara next I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the Lavera uh, fine loose mineral powder again I found this also at my local health store and I really love it after ever since I discovered this product well basically I was recommended by the staff there it comes in this little sponge and sometimes I just sort of uh, get a little bit of product onto this sponge and I just use it to <clears throat> dab the sponge and apply it on my skin and you don't really need a lot you just want to remove some of the shine especially on the t-zone 
uh, and especially because when I film, all the light fixtures is making me really hot and I'm also talking the whole time so I do get sweaty after a while and my skin does show a bit of shine on the t-zone so it's good to have a little bit of powder to control that t-zone so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit on my t-zone just the areas that I know I get a little bit of shine over a time period especially after talking for a while under these lights um, or if it's like during the summer this is also a good product to help with um, the shine so you don't really need a lot like you saw I don't really I don't really load up my brush because I don't want to have cakey skin because I still have dry skin it's just that I have I do build up some oils throughout my t-zone throughout the day it's really not that bad actually so that's about it so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the mascara here's how the brush looks like it's not the most like friendly brush in the world but it's also not too bad even for my Asian lashes which are not super long they're not super short but they're not super long so it's okay actually this is the first coat um, I only applied it on my top lashes because this is a brand new tube it is more liquidy like I said so it doesn't really build up as much volume which I'm fine with because over time this will dry out a little bit more and I actually prefer the consistency as it uh, dries out a little bit more so the formula actually becomes better as time goes by it does clump up a little bit but I don't mind it because it just gives it more volume for my lashes uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a second coat and I'm also going to do a little bit on the lower lashes. Lashes done. Uh, like you see, it really does help a little bit bringing out the eyes and waking them up. But my lashes are pointing down again so I'm going to let it dry because the fibers need to dry and um, like really dry and then curl it again. For me, I find that uh, the steps that takes the longest is the lashes and the brows just because I don't know for the lashes I like to build up my lashes to be longer and I want to coat them evenly so that I can curl them again later and I also have to wait for it to dry before I curl them again so it really takes a long time and then also for my brows um, I don't know my brows are okay they, they I actually have a lot of brow hair and I think because there's a lot of light fixtures it does wash them out a little bit and also uh, they grow in um, like there's a bit more hair here but then there's more, a bit more hair here like this brow starts a bit earlier this brow starts early too but it's just a little bit more sparse so on a regular basis I can care less but on camera I do fix them because <laughs> a lot of you have commented on my brows so anyway I do use the brow powder from Kuo uh, again this is not really a you know a natural brand or anything I just like that this little kit has um, basically everything that I need which is um, just the color of the brow powder that I like I actually really like going with the really light color here because I already have such dark hair that I don't need to make them darker I just need to shape them with a shadow basically like a lighter shadow and it also comes with tools so it's really a travel friendly uh, little case and it also comes with three of the stencils which don't fit exactly but I do use them as a sort of a base and then I fill them in uh, like I fix them with my own brushes after they're almost done the only thing is that um, like I said I do have a bit more hair here like they're not as sparse here they're sparser here so I'm gonna go ahead with a q-tip and fix it a little bit uh, as in I just remove a little bit of the product here in the front it's not super exact but it does help with making a little bit more natural brows because your brows don't really they're not normally like a square right so you do want to make it look a little bit more sparse at the beginning I'm not super precise, I'm not even that good at it I just <laughs> do whatever I, I, I guess really I really do whatever but um, whatever I feel that looks the most natural nobody's brows are perfect 
and I want them to look as natural like as if they were my own brows as possible so they're obviously not gonna look perfect and plus I am really due for another um, brow threading anyway so it's fine now I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more color back onto my skin because it's a little bit too white for my liking because of the foundation um, so I'm gonna go ahead with a little bronzer here and I'm just gonna contour with this I don't really do really heavy contouring but I do like to sculpt it back just because it's so white now um, at least on camera it looks really white so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that it almost acts like a blush because it's uh, it's a really natural peachy bronzing color And then, as you can see, I even bring it all the way up to my cheeks, but I really don't have any like exact method. Whatever works. And I just bring it down to give it a little bit more sort of shadow there. There's really no more product on the thing, it's just whatever is left over. And I don't really, I'm not really exact about it. I just kind of just use up the remainder of what's on the brush and voila! <laughs> this is the Cargo Bronzer it is the mini bronzer in the medium shade and I actually got this as a sample a long time ago and I'm still using it another little trick that I sometimes do I don't always do it because I don't always remember to do it uh, but I did feature this brush a long time ago um, well, a while ago into my favorites video before this is just the e.l.f. contouring brush so I can actually use that as um, what I just did earlier but I just I just kind of like to do it quick with this um, Real Techniques multitasking cheek brush I just think that this one is just really good and I like to travel with this one because it's just like such a multi-purpose brush um, but I did have this one first and um, now I just started using it to I'll add a little bit of contour on my nose my nose is fine it's not super flat or anything but I don't have much of a nose bridge and um, I guess with the light it can also wash it out a little bit so what I do is I just use a little bit of that same bronzer just a little bit because you don't want to make it look too obvious and just contour the nose a little bit there's there's literally as I said it's not super exact I just add a little bit more shadow there um, I think if a real makeup artist saw me do that, she'd be like, what the heck is she doing? But I just do it anyway because this is all I know. And I'm sure there's way better ways to do it, but that's it. It just kind of even adds a bit more color. It almost looks like I got tanned a little bit and it's, you know, usually that's how and where the sun hits as well. So anyway, that's just a little tip that I do. Well, not even a tip, it's just a little thing that I do sometimes. Next, I'm gonna go ahead with the same brush and uh, with the blush color in the Tarte Party. Uh, just add a little bit of that onto my cheeks. So I'm just gonna use a little bit, not that much, and then add a little bit of color on top of the bronzer. You really can't see, um, a lot on the camera because it's washing me out um, but in real life it, it I, I actually get a little bit more color back on my on my skin I don't mind going into my apples as well a little bit but yeah so in real life, um, I also have these freckles. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, you can see them. I actually do have freckles and um, they're not caused by sun necessarily, I don't think. Uh, in the Chinese traditional medicine perspective, you get these from not sleeping enough. So basically, 
anywhere on your face it indicates a different area where there's a little bit of more imbalance so for me um, i have a lot of trouble sleeping so the liver is not always at, at its strongest so it will come up here like the freckles will come up here some people will have freckles on other areas on their face for me it's my liver earlier i forgot to apply a little bit of uh, eyeshadow which i actually don't always do um but i have recently started doing it in my past video just the one video before and i don't really have uh you know a special palette this is just the naked urban decay one with the uh this is the second palette i think or is it the third the rose gold one anyway and i just go ahead and apply i'll just go ahead and apply a little bit on my lids i can't find the brush that i will normally use but i'll just uh i'll just use this brush So I just did a wash of color with this uh, color limit just really briefly like you saw and I think I'm just gonna go ahead with I don't know which one uh, factory I'm just gonna go ahead with a little bit of factory so just a, a, a slight bit darker and then just uh, go over where my uh, just just close to my lash line a little bit um I don't really have an exact way of doing it I just do it. <laughs> so I've decided to go ahead with Strange, the lightest color here, and just apply it a little bit onto the brow bone. And I'm also going to go ahead with uh, Dust, so this light colored here, but it's a little bit more shimmery, and apply it uh, near the tear ducts. This one is a little bit uh, powdery. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of liner. Um, this is the Physician's Formula, and this is called the Eye Booster Twin One Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum, and I have it in the color Ultra Black. And I just um, I like this one because it's I guess one of the better ones. It's not super clean, but it's not that bad either. So I'm just going to go ahead and line my eyes. Now I do have mono eyelids. In case you guys don't know what it means, it just means that this eyelid has a double lid, like a slight one, and this one doesn't. Uh, so they kind of look unequal, especially when you apply lip liner. I mean, eyeliner, you kind of have to sort of fake it on both sides to make it even. So this is the best that I can do this time. It looks different every single time I do it. Uh, but if you have monolids, you will know the struggle, but basically this is how it looks like today. We're almost done. The only things left are lips and curling my lashes again at the very end. In terms of lips, I like to use two products. Uh, the first one is I line with this NARS little pencil called... Uh, what is it called now? I got this as a sample. Both of them are actually... Actually, they're not even samples. They're the you know those birthday gifts from uh, Sephora. So every year on your birthday, you can go and claim your birthday gift. So this is the Rikugin, Rikugin Satin Lip Pencil from Nars, and I just uh, use this to line my lips roughly and fill them in as well. So this is kind of like a pretty nice uh, satiny color that is pretty close to my own natural color. So that's why I like using this first, just to even it out. And then I go ahead um, and and apply a second coat, but I use a different color. This is the Marc Jacobs Kiss Kiss Bang Bang um, Lip Cream. And I like this one because this one has a really pretty shade. And it's definitely a little bit more red, a rosy red color. And it... Um, you know, it has, it's pretty close to my own lip color too, but it just looks really nice when I combine the two, or even this alone, but I just like lining my lips first and then go ahead uh, and use that on top. It just looks really natural in pink, and it looks like my own color. 
So I can literally just go ahead and leave that alone and call it a day. Oh, curl my lashes too. But I also like the other color a lot. I'm gonna curl my lashes and we're gonna be done. Like I said, I really only apply makeup when I have special occasions. And of course, filming for you guys is a special occasion. And so I hope you guys enjoyed it. As you can see, it's not like super complicated for those of you who are already really good at makeup in fact i'm sure i'm doing a lot of things in the wrong way but it just works for me that's the way i know and that works for me so that's what i'm gonna keep doing and then i'll of course improve as i go and find even more better products that works good on my skin um and when i do i will definitely share it in my favorite video because that's a place where I always share my new findings and things that really work out for me that I've really been enjoying. So most importantly, I did this video for the skincare portion because a lot of you have asked me about it and it's really no secret. I just basically used the Vita and I've since found after trial and error many, many times uh, throughout a lot of different natural brands um, that this is the one that works for me the most and even within all the natural brands they're not always clean and when I say clean I mean chemical free so I'll also leave a link down below or maybe a couple of links where you can find really good information on ingredients that are known to be harmful for humans and um, if you can avoid them, that's much better. Of course, it's not going to be something where you can change overnight. I certainly took many years to change out all my products and to figure out the ones that work for me and for my skin. Everyone's going to be different. But um, the more you read about it and the more you read labels and recognize the ones that are harmful, you'll start to memorize them and start to know uh, when you see them. So I'll definitely link leave a few links down below of the most common ones so that you guys can start educating yourself if you guys are new to my channel thank you so much for dropping by and i hope that you like my content and decide to describe describe subscribe to my channel i hope you guys are doing well and i'll talk to you again very soon bye